Come with me to Finland for the second time. That's my outfit for the night. All right, guys, I just arrived. Oh my God, what a day. Let's do this. I'm, I'm chewing like a cow. Ew. And I'm here pretending now I'm a princess. 2.41 now, fucking hell, just two hours to go, woo. Hello everyone, how are we? Oh my god. <gasps> Come with me to Finland for the second time. So right now we are Sunday, it's 10 a.m. I am ready, I am packed. Can you see my little suitcase here? This is like my stripper bag. And that's my suitcase with everything in there. This is like the most important things that I have with me. I always keep like my makeup with me, my main product, because you never know where your fucking luggage is gonna end up. So yeah, it's just precaution and always a pair of shoes in my lingerie, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. I'm going to Finland for the second time. I was meant to go to Finland in December, but I got so fucking sick. I could not go. So I'm not as excited as the first time, but I think I have to go there. I can't explain to you. I feel like I'm meant to go there because it's the end of a chapter. Sorry, a little like story time, little like personal thing going on. So I have met, so just to put everything back in perspective, I have met someone that is now my best friend this summer when I went to work in Cannes. We had like what we say in French, a coup de foudre. It was like love at first sight with this girl. You know, everyone is always talking about love with like a man or female with the opposite sex or like the sex you're attracted to. But we never talk about like being in love with a friend. And at my age, I'm like 32, it's really rare to like connect with people. You know, the older you get, the more like you do your own thing. Like it's rare, you know. And this girl is 20, but we literally the same as like, she's me, but like at 20. So we relate loads and I had the best summer with her. Like I was quite sad before meeting her, before going to Cannes, I was really depressed. I think I'll do a video one day talking about like my depression and my mental health. Really sad, my ex came back into my life and then obviously didn't work out. So it was really hard mentally. But then I had the best summer with her, like the best summer I ever had. And when you're 30 plus, you know, it can be hard. So even, even before meeting me, she was meant to move to London anyway. So it was like it was meant to be because she wanted to learn it. English so she was here for six months and we ended up living together so I had so it's been nine months in total I had the best nine months of my life so far very content very simple life to be fair nothing crazy happened but I had more and more opportunity because of like my social media you know I did like interviews with magazine podcasts I collaborate with other like content creator it was really good like nothing crazy and major but like I feel like things are unfolding I was living with her Every single day, I was laughing, I was being happy. A very simple life, but very fulfilling. And now she, her six months have, are done. So she wants to move to London, but you know now with Brexit, things are not that easy. So we don't really know what she's going to do. So she's stressed. I am sad. And it's like we're both having a heartbreak. It's like we're doing a breakup. So yeah, and I feel like she's leaving next week and I'm leaving like this week. So it's like we're leaving almost at the same time. I'm going to Finland at the same time as she's gonna leave. So it feels like very much like, here we go, a cycle that's ending. So, like endings can be hard, but it's it's good because it means that something else is opening. So that's how I feel. I feel like I have to go to Finland because something else is opening. Something else is gonna come. Uh, and then but after that, I'm, I'm meeting her again. I'm going to Cannes and she's from Cannes. So we're gonna work together one week together. Then I'm going back to London for two months and then I'm spending the whole summer in Cannes with her. We're going to work. So it's the end of a cycle, the end of a chapter. So feeling very nostalgic. I had a cry this morning. So if my face is really puffy, that's why we both had a cry. Because, yeah, we feel like it's a breakup, you know. It's not because you're not involved romantically, like, and sexually with someone. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. We love each other deeply. Um, and yeah, it was great. So anyway, <laughs> enough talking about this. I'm going to Finland. I'm ready. I just have to do a self-tape now for something. Fingers crossed. But yeah, ready. I hate flying, if you know me. So I don't know how that's gonna happen. But anyway, no choice. I haven't worked nighttime since November. So it's been, what, four months, three months? 
I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do this. I had my lovely little routine at my club, working daytime, maximum 10 p.m. So let's see how it's gonna go down, how this gonna go down. Working from 9 p.m. until 5 a.m. six days out of seven. I'm gonna fucking die. After those three weeks, I'm like I'm taking a week off. But yeah, come with me. Let's see how it's gonna happen. New adventures. Oh my God, literally my life is a movie. Anyway, come with me to work in Finland. to our cross station way early but I'd rather be early than late and I don't want to rush I hate rushing so it makes total sense that I'm taking a chauffeur <laughs> to Victoria Cross station and then I'm taking the the coach instead of a taxi but our taxi are way too expensive to the airport anyway I'm there and I'm not buying any drink coffee or whatever because I've got small bladder and I don't want to have to pee every second because I never know if they've got toilets on the bus or not so yeah, that's the joy of being 30 plus. What, every time you drink something, you want to pee. All right guys, I'm at the airport. I dropped my luggage, I passed security. I bought myself just some sweet water and like a crossword book, you know, because the club in Finland can be really slow and it can be really boring. So I just need some things to die. The phone is not allowed. It's so not chilled compared to the club I am now. Now I'm gonna have some lunch. And yeah, I'm way early, nothing stressful. The airport is not busy, so very chilled. Hopefully the flight would be smooth as well. just arrived oh my god what a day if you look at it i left my house at like 12 and it's now 11 pm here so 9 pm probably in london long day i'm half deaf if i speak weird it's because i'm like every time I, I take the plane my ears are like popping anyway glad to be here the flat is cute i'll show you in a second uh, i'm just gonna have a shadow room with someone oh, i'm not happy about that oh well what else should i say i took the train this time not a taxi so yeah, I start to really know Helsinki now. The train, because the train is like four pounds, four euros, and the taxi is like 70, so you see the difference. Now I'm just gonna unpack, eat something, shower, and I'll see you tomorrow. I am exhausted. Let me show you the apartment, and then I go to bed. So it's decent, trust me, there are strippers' apartment that are like horrible. So this one is cute, not bad, but like the bedroom is so small. So yeah, that's gonna be my little bed for like one week. This is not all glam life. Hello. They're good with the wardrobe with kind of space. All right, bye guys. Good morning, guys. I can't speak too loud because you know people are very respectful here, so I can't like shout in the hallway. And I haven't seen before because the girl is still sleeping. I woke up at like ten thirty. I am exhausted. guys i have completely forgot to film today i literally went to went to lido i did some groceries i literally bought like three things the world is going crazy i bought three things and it cost me 70 euros like are you kidding me i didn't buy anything extraordinary the only good thing the positive thing is that when i'm abroad i'm eating quite um healthy so I'm quite happy about that. I don't want to order takeaway and that. So hopefully 
my acne will go down because now it's a joke i made food like a little brunch type of thing like a salad with like eggs um peanut butter and bread i'm trying not to have coffee because i wonder if that's what gives me like acne i don't know and then i had a nap i was still exhausted i think my period are killing me but i feel a bit more refreshed so now it's 6 p.m i'm out of the shower I start work at like, it must be weird, like you, I'm talking and you can't see me. Starting work at 9, it's really early, like it's long nights in Finland. It's 9pm until 5am, like it's hardcore. But so yeah, I start to get ready now because I don't want, I hate rushing and it's my first night and I'm tired. So it must be really annoying. Oh shit, I keep looking there, looking at myself, sorry, I need to look here. It must be really annoying because most of the time I tell you I'm tired. <gasps> Oh, but anyway, once once I'm at work, the energy is coming. Um, so yeah, I had like uh, I started to to get ready like quite early because I don't want to rush. Where's my thing? I don't want to rush. It's my first night. I need to eat, so I packed everything already. I had a master shower. I washed my hair. I shaved shaved my legs because I'm lasered everywhere. Um, I must look ridiculous right now. Oh well. I shaved, I cut my nails, my toenails, what else do I just tidy up, you know, I just want to take things slow, shit, I need my thing, where is it, um, a second, that's what I needed, I forgot my Dyson dryer head, drying head, whatever you want to call it, thank god I live with another girl, it's like, I borrow her, I'm borrowing hers, I'm just doing my French line now, Anyway, I'm gonna do my hair, just straight them. I can't be bothered to do the curls. Um, and I'll see you once I am ready. I'm just gonna get ready, have some food. We don't have a microwave in this flat, great. So I just had like a ready meal, trying to have a healthy one, just like pasta. I can't believe I'm showing myself like that on the internet, like seriously. But hey, trying to be real here. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready, have food and then go to work. So I'll, I'll talk to you once I'm ready, okay? See ya! Actually, let me take the opportunity that I am alone in the flat to talk to you guys. Tonight is gonna be my first night, obviously, and it's the first time since November that I'm working night again, because so the last time I was here in November, and after that, I went to Copenhagen, didn't stay because it was a nightmare. Then I was meant to come back here. Fuck, there's hair everywhere. I was meant to come back here, but I got so sick. And then I started in my new club in London where I work days. Like the latest I can finish is 10 p.m. So that doesn't count as night, you know. Um, and I've been really, really enjoying my new club. It's literally the best club I ever dance, dance for, dance at. Anyway, if I look over there, it's because there's the mirror. Uh, because my new club to me is it is like that's how a strip club is meant to be like you go to the guy do you want to go for a dance yes no and this is it you know and i got so used to this where i don't have to talk to them for too long that it's gonna drain me again first it's gonna drain me because it's gonna be night again very long hours at my new club in london i work four hours at a time unless i decide to do a double shift which is eight hours so that's gonna drain me first of all working night working eight hours then I'm gonna have to talk to them because they don't do single dances there. It's only VIPs. It's only like you go downstairs, you have a bottle of champagne, it's minimum half an hour. And I used to be a VIP girl. I used to be really good at like holding a conversation. I am still really good at holding conversation, don't get me wrong. I just can't be bothered because if you are a dancer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People don't realize how draining it can be to talk to like, I don't know how many different people, especially men, drunk men demanding men for the whole night it really like i'd rather be physically drained than mentally drained so that's gonna be very different like talk to them in finland it's okay you don't have to like beg for hours to go downstairs they usually know like what they want to do uh so that's okay to be fair but it's just the whole talking to them for one hour and i don't know like i don't know how the hell i'm going to do this but i'm gonna have to find it in me to be fair, people are quite nice in this country, so it's okay, but it's just, oh, I don't know. And then the, the other difference is that 
they can touch in this country same in can to be fair that's the, that's the least that bother me to be fair i don't care to be touched to, like you dissociate at some point to me it's the talking part that's the worst you know when it hits 4 a.m and i talk to you and you're just like zoning out you're like ah and you just want your bed and i've got my period on top of that so i am extremely tired but let's keep positive hopefully we'll be fine i really like my new club in london it's just so quick it's like do you want to go for a dance yes no it's like in and out really love it i realized that i was way more efficient in my life like i can do content creating i can go to the gym i can do so much more than when i was in any other club where i was like oh my god i'm too drained i can't leave my bed sorry if i'm looking at the camera and not right at you guys but i'm just checking my baby hair so yeah that was a quick chat to explain to you where i'm at what i'm like thinking at the moment um but let's see i'll update you on how my night went we don't have a microwave so i'm gonna have to do it in this great bon appetit to me all right guys i am ready i literally took my sweet time the lighting is really shit let me see if i can go somewhere else not really but oh well i took my sweet time i am ready i am exhausted i just want to sleep as usual but hopefully the music i don't know hopefully it would be vibing and but it's monday so i'm not expecting much to be fair let's go i'm not totally ready i'm still in like my underwear and my top but that i'll just get dressed last minute i still have like a good 40 minutes before I go. So yeah, makeup done, just a little mascara. The power of makeup, seriously. The power of makeup. Alright guys, I'll update you on how my night is going. Alright guys, I'm going as you can see. Ooh, dress very stylish. Bag is here. That's my outfit for the night. My heels. Got there's my haul where you can see this look. You can check it out. I thank God for makeup because I am about to fall asleep. Oh, I don't know, it's been like a few days, even a week that I'm like feeling rough. It's not going away. Maybe it's the Botox, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, quick pee break. It's almost 11. Pee and snack break. It's so fucking boring. That's the reality. It's there, there's no one. What is this? That's the reality of the job, girls. No one. You think, like, oh my god, I want to do this, I want to make money. It's not like a hustler. No, you think you're gonna make crazy tons of money any night, every night, yeah, there are nights where you make crazy tons of money. There are loads of nights where shit. Long time waiting around. Trust me, consider before doing this job. You can change your life, but it's not all easy, all glam, all fun. There are loads of fun, but it's not always like that. I still have. Five hours to go. I am falling asleep. Oh, anyway. This one will be better. Now well, I'm gonna pee. I pee every fucking second. But I drink loads. Loads of water. I am. See you in a bit. I don't know. Hopefully, they will pick up. Hopefully, I found one guy. I don't spend money. 
Sorry, the way I'm eating, hello, I'm disgusting. Mouth open and I'm chewing like a cow. Ew. And I'm here pretending now I'm a princess. Anyway, I'll update you. So what's happening? Update, it's 2.41 now. Fucking hell, just two hours to go. Woo, a bit more than two hours actually. I made nothing apart from my stage money. I spoke to an American guy from Miami. He was really nice actually, really nice to speak to. But he was like, you know, in Miami it's crazy. He was like, I know, I've been there. He said, like, we can go all the way. And I was like, oh, sorry, here we can't. He was like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, trust me, I'm sure. Good afternoon everyone, it's the next day, 2 p.m. and I'm already up and ready. I woke up at 12.30, first at 10.30 and then 12.30. Let's go, let's get ready. I'm gonna force myself to go on a walk every day for one hour, half an hour, one hour and take some fresh air, take some sunlight. At least this time the sun is like going down at like 5.30, not at 2.30, last time was going down at 2.30. Anyway, that's how I'm gonna end this vlog. I just want to show you one day, so yesterday I made no money. I'll probably do another one before I leave. If I do something a bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, leave me a little comment. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.